Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each week we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bolenbach, and today I'll be taking you to other worlds beyond our own. An exoplanet, or extrasolar planet, is a planet outside the solar system. For centuries, scientists, philosophers, and science fiction writers believed they existed, but there was no way of knowing. The first confirmed detection came in 1992, with the discovery of several terrestrial mass planets were found orbiting a pulsar. The outstanding discovery of a realm like our own was in 1995, when two scientists found 51 Pegasi b, orbiting a sun like our own. As of May 2020, there are over 4,000 confirmed exoplanets and over 3,000 systems, with almost 700 of them having more than one planet. The nearest exoplanet discovered is located four light years from Earth, orbiting the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri b. There are many methods of detecting exoplanets, but Doppler spectroscopy and transit photometry have found the most. Astronomers can detect exoplanets indirectly by measuring their gravitational influence on the motion of their host star. The star will kind of look like it's wobbling. More extrasolar planets were later detected by observing the variation of the star's apparent luminosity as an orbiting planet transited in front of it. About 97% of all confirmed exoplanets have been discovered using indirect techniques like this. Almost all the planets detected so far are in the Milky Way. There is, however, evidence that extragalactic planets do exist when researchers in 2018 found them in a distant galaxy. There are approximately 2,000 extragalactic planets for every one star beyond the Milky Way. Let that resonate. Most known exoplanets orbit stars roughly similar to the Sun. Some planets have been found orbiting binary star systems. Only few planets in triple star systems are known, and there is one in a quadruple system. Planets may form within a few years to tens of millions of years after their parent star. When planets form in a gaseous protoplanetary disk, they accrete hydrogen-helium envelopes. These envelopes cool and contract over time, and depending on the mass of the planet, some or all of the hydrogen and helium is eventually lost to space. An example is Kepler-51b, which has only about twice the mass of Earth, but is almost the size of Saturn, which is a hundred times the mass of Earth. There are many different types of exoplanets, but today I will only be covering three. Hot Jupiters, super-Earths, and the ones who've gone rogue. Hot Jupiters are a gas giant, extremely close to their star. Some complete a single orbit, what would be like their year, in as little as a few days here on Earth. Astronomers were surprised by these hot Jupiters because theories of planetary formation had indicated that giant planets should only form at large distances from their star. But eventually, more planets of their sorts were found, and it's now clear that hot Jupiters make up the minority of exoplanets. Super-Earths are one of the most common types of exoplanets discovered so far, with a mass between that of Earth and Neptune. The properties of these planets are largely unknown. If super-Earths have more than 80 times as much water as Earth does, then they become an ocean planet with all land completely submerged. Some exoplanets are so far away from their star that it's difficult to tell whether they are gravitationally bound to it. Unlike Earth, most of the exoplanets don't have a strong relationship with their significant star, so they're actually just wandering through space or loosely orbiting between stars. They've just got really bad commitment issues. Then there are the complete bachelors, called rogue planets, who do not orbit any star at all. The rogue planets in the Milky Way possibly number in the billions or more. One of NASA's ultimate goals in the exoplanet program is to find unmistakable evidence of current life. In January 2020, scientists announced the discovery of the first Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone detected by TESS. 
There is special interest in capturing evidence of a distant, hospitable world where it's possible for liquid water, a prerequisite for life here on Earth, to exist on the surface. About one in five sun-like stars have an Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone. This confirmed planets like ours can exist elsewhere in the universe. Assuming there are 200 billion stars in the Milky Way, it can be hypothesized that there are 11 billion potentially habitable Earth-sized planets in our galaxy alone. As more planets are discovered, we will ultimately tackle the prospect of life on planets beyond the solar system. Then there's life as we don't know it. While it makes sense to search for something like ourselves first, we don't yet know if that's really what should be expected. One thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards because the universe sure isn't gonna slow down for us to catch up. And remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.